We cannot bend the rules of state-to-state -state relations for political expediency. It is still a few nations who shape the agenda and seek to define the norms. We've seen and continue to see the extent to which democracies are under threat through various means of foreign interference. Nor must we countenance that political convenience determines responses to terrorism, extremism and violence. At the same time, as we put great emphasis on the importance of equality, we also have to uphold the values of free and democratic societies. We cannot bend the rules of state-to-state -state relations for political expediency, because we've seen and continue to see the extent to which democracies are under threat through various means of foreign interference. But the truth is, if we don't adhere to the rules that we've agreed to, the very fabric of our open and of our free societies may start to tear. Excellencies, in our deliberations, we often advocate the promotion of a rules-based order. From time to time, respect for the UN Charter is also invoked. But for all the talk, it is still a few nations who shape the agenda and seek to define the norms. This cannot go on indefinitely, nor will it go unchallenged. A fair, equitable, and democratic order will surely emerge once we all put our minds to it. And for a start, that means ensuring that rule makers do not subjugate rule takers. After all, rules will work only when they apply equally to all. Mr. President, we must never again allow an injustice like vaccine apartheid to recur. Climate action, too, cannot continue to witness an evasion of historical responsibilities. The power of markets should not be utilized to steer food and energy from the needy to the wealthy. Nor must we countenance that political convenience determines responses to terrorism, extremism, and violence. Similarly, respect for territorial integrity and non-interference in internal affairs